And I said, hey, good looking, what you got cooking? How's about cooking something for the quarantine? Hi y'all, welcome to the quarantined kitchen, and today we're quarantine cooking. Dolly, be quiet. That's my cat, Dolly Purton. Hi, oh, you know what? I don't think I need this uh, since I'm in my own house today, so I'm going to take this off, mind you, taking that off, I don't need it, I'm in the comfort and safety of my own home, where I have been the entire weekend, Dolly, be quiet, honey, my cat Dolly Purton is over there eating, uh, yeah, you may see my pets running around, uh, I want to say hi, and it is, I am self-quarantining for the weekend, because I just am doing my part, and there are several things I want to explain before I start cooking. First up, my shirt. Sometimes when you're at home, and you're at home a lot, you need to feel fancy. And I found this gold shiny shirt in my closet that I had never worn ever. It had tags in it. I don't remember buying it. I have never worn it. But I thought, you know what? If you're quarantined, you might feel fancy. So let me come up here and show you a little closer. Got it, baby. Hold on. Look at this. Look how shiny. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, hi, Liz. Hi Debbie, hi Georgia. You gotta feel fancy when you're quarantined. There's no excuse to stay in sweats and PJs when you're at home. Okay, that was the first thing. All right, I hope you like my shirt. Dolly, be, Dolly, don't bump that. Dolly, my cat might bump over the tripod. Um, I wanna say hi to all of you who are watching. Second thing, first of all, is you are seeing my new house for the first time. I have not shared this with anybody ever on social media ever with I basically my family and one friend has seen the house I want you to know this is all pre renovation okay nothing has been renovated this whole kitchen this summer you will not even recognize it by the end of the summer I am redoing my whole house uh, in a special edition called the rave renovations and I'm going to show you every room in my house step by step once the renovation starts but I can't start until the weather gets better because it's miserable outside. So that was two. So my shirt, my kitchen that will be renovated very shortly. And the idea for this quarantine cooking came from my mother, Brenda Rabe. I love her so much. She actually has the flu. She thought it might be COVID-19. She got the test back. She is good, but she has the flu. When I was growing up in Dallas, I remember we didn't have a lot of money. So my mom would always go to the cupboards and see what we had. And she would try to make a dinner with whatever we had in the kitchen cabinet. So that's what I thought for quarantine cooking. You don't want to get out. You want to keep everybody safe. So just stay at home and make something with something that you already have. So I did not have to go to the store at all for today's recipe. So I feel like I'm so far away from you, but I do want to read your comments as we go. Uh, hi, everyone. So I did want... Oh, thank you, Sarah. I am renovating the entire thing though, I'm sorry. I am renovating it. I, I want a white kitchen, okay, sorry, it's, it's cute. Um, but basically my mother could take anything in the kitchen and make something, so that's what I'm doing today. Okay, I'll try to come up here and read your comments as we go, okay. So here we go. So on today's quarantine cooking segments, everything I have in my kitchen, now a lot of you know I do the keto diet. So I love finding recipes that are easy, and that are keto. Now, today we're going to make, bump -ba -da -bump. I, I typed in keto recipes, what can I find, and had it in my kitchen. Hi Gaga, my dog Gaga is gonna help me. These are chicken quesadilla chaffles. Chicken quesadilla chaffles. Now, if you don't know what chaffle is, it's basically like a keto waffle, and this is savory, not sweet. In fact, the other week on Ozark's Fox AM, which is my morning show, uh, our director, Shannon, challenged me to make a savory waffle with like cheddar cheeses, and surprisingly, guess what? It was delicious. We all loved it. So, to make the chicken quesadilla chaffle, here's what we're going to do. We need one third cup of cooked chopped chicken. Now, here's the thing. When you're quarantined and you don't have chicken, guess what the next best thing is? Canned chicken. Now, a lot of you are going to ridicule from me for this. But I love canned chicken. I have this in my cupboard no matter what time of the year it is, quarantined or not. 
I love canned chicken and I use it in a lot of my recipes. So, and, and it's fully cooked by the way. It's just fully cooked um, with rib meat. So I'm using this and it says to use a third of a cup and I never waste anything. So I'm gonna be using all of this. So we're gonna use this, an egg, one egg, a third of a cup of cheddar cheese or cheddar jack cheese and taco seasoning. So I have my waffle maker heating up right here. It's nice and toasty. And I need to mix together the egg and the taco seasoning. Okay, so I gotta get the egg out of my fridge. Hold on. Now, please do not judge me by my fridge. It is not clean. It is, in fact, I'll show you here. Hold on. I don't want you to see. Oh gosh, it is so messy in here. So messy. Okay, here we go. I got the egg. Okay, it's so messy. Oh wait, I need the cheese. Okay, I got the cheese here. I buy cheese in bulk anyway. Uh, and then I put it in these little baggies and freeze what I don't use right away and then put it in these bags um, as I use it. But I'm telling you, being on keto, I go through cheese like I go through socks. It is crazy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, in a small bowl, mix the egg. Okay, here we go. Egg. There we go. And put this in my trash can. There we go. Egg. And a fourth of a teaspoon of taco seasoning. Now. You can make your own taco seasoning if you want, but I happen to have this. I love this seasoning, and I use it when I make my taco salads for my ground meat, uh, and it makes the meat like a taco flavor for my taco salads, which I also have once or twice a week. I love taco salads so much. They are so delicious. Sometimes I do it with, um, oh, I need a fork to mix this. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna get a fork. I could use a whisk, but, I'm gonna use a fork instead. There we go. See, we're keeping it real here on quarantine cooking, okay? So we're gonna mix this egg and taco seasoning. Now, mind you, I've never tried this recipe before, ever. Never tried it. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. I'm hoping it's good because I love cheese, I love eggs, I love taco seasonings, and I love chicken. And that's what we're making. So I'm gonna mix this all together. There we go. Okay, so now it says, Okay, wait, do you guys want to see this? Hold on, let me show you. Let me show you what this looks like. Here we go. Can you see that? It looks pretty good, right? Hi. Hi, Dee. Hi, Trish. Hi, guys watching. Sorry. I can't see the comments from way back at the island. Hi, Mary. Okay. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to answer them. So now it says, because... Now, you could use a rotisserie chicken and shred it, or chicken breasts and shred it, uh, I'm going to do a third of a cup of the canned chicken. Please don't judge me. I like canned chicken. I really do. Okay. Let me see if I... Oh, i got to go drain this. Okay, let me walk back here. I'm going to drain this chicken juice. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to wash my hands in a minute, but I'm going to have to deal with this chicken anyway, so there we go. Okay. Let me throw this away. I'm always fascinated how people on TV that cook on TV can make it look so effortless and clean because it's not clean. When we cook on Ozark's Fox AM, it's never clean. Oh, there's a big comment right there. I wonder if I can get to it in time. Let's see who it is. Hi, Connie. Uh, it looks like your refrigerator. I, oh, yeah. I, sorry, that comment disappeared, but hi, Connie. Hi, Della. Hi. Okay, so a third of a cup of chicken. Let's, well, let's see if I can... Get this in here. Now this is pretty chunked. I may have to break it up a little bit. And I don't think it would be bad if we added more chicken than less chicken. Like I can't imagine it being, uh, oh goodness gracious, let me get that over there. It bad with more chicken. You know, I say mo chicken, mo better, mo butter, mo better. So put in the chicken, okay, there we go. And then we need a third of a cup of Colby Jack shredded cheese. Look at this. Now, I'm tempted to add more cheese because I love a cheese. There we go, third of a cup of that. By the way, after this, while this one's cooking, I have a very special recipe for all of you. It's the same thing, but with a little bit different ingredients, okay? So I'm gonna, this chicken is pretty thick, chunked. So I'm gonna just mash it up just a little bit more. Now, in this recipe, it says to use one of those mini waffle irons that just has one um, serving at a time. Mine has two. So what I'm gonna try to do is make it all of this on the two sides of this, and I think that's heated nicely. 
And I just hope this chicken is not too thick. I think maybe I'm supposed to shred it more, but I'm kind of shredding it in here. Now, and for the first time in my life, I'm following a recipe. I mean, seriously. Guys, if you're just tuning in, hello, it's quarantine cooking. I'm making a chicken quesadilla chaffle. It's gonna be delicious. There we go, okay. Here we go, guys. I don't know what's gonna happen. By the way, my dogs can smell the chicken and they are waiting at my feet right now thinking they're gonna get some chicken. Which they're not. Okay, here's a question for you. Should I spray the waffle maker with cooking spray? What do you think? Let me ask you this. Let me come up here. Hold on, guys. My sweet little babies. Okay, should I spray the waffle maker with cooking spray before I add it? I'm taking the first answer that comes. Go. Somebody type. Anybody? Anybody? I'm waiting. Anybody? Should I spray it? I feel the need I should spray it because I don't want it to stick. And it might come out easier. I'm guessing... Yes, Trish! You said yes? I'm doing it. Trish said yes. Okay, Trish. Spraying it. Spraying it. Spraying it. Thank you, Trish. She was the first one I saw. Now I'm gonna put it in the waffle maker. Now this doesn't, I'm gonna be honest, this doesn't look like very much. I think I should put it all in one side. Is that, okay, I'm gonna put it all on one side. Look, I just made a terrible mess because I thought it should be in two sides, but it shouldn't. I think it should be in one side. Here we go, hold on. Now I have to scrape it out of this side. It's gonna look terrible, but I, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. This is, I hate, I'm just keeping it real. This is what would happen in our kitchen with families cooking. Things, you get to talking, and you think you know something, and you don't. Okay, so, there we go. Put it down. Now it says to cook. Oh my goodness, how long does it say to cook? For four minutes until, but if they're undercooked, you can do it for another four minutes. So, like I said, hey Siri, set the timer to four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. Yes. Okay, so now, oh, I'm so excited because I've got a special treat for you now. I'm going to set this aside because I thought what other foods, uh, the last time I was at the grocery store was a few weeks ago and guess what I saw was out of stock besides the toilet paper. It was Spam and I love Spam. I love it. So I thought what if I make this same recipe only using jalapeno Spam. Look at this. I love this stuff guys. Look at this. I love jalapeno spam. I love it. Oh yeah, thanks Alisa. Alicia, thank you. Teresa, yes, thank you. I gotcha. Uh, so I'm gonna use jalapeno spam to make this exact same recipe because I think spam is delicious and it's underrated, okay? It's underrated. Now I have no idea how this will turn out. So let me try my technique, here we go. Oh, I'm not kidding you. I probably have, let me count, in my pantry, one, two, three. I have four cans of Spam that I keep in there regularly because I love it so much. Where's my bowl? Here's my bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna use a third of a cup of this Spam, and I will save the rest, by the way. Or should I double the recipe to make more? I might use two eggs and double the whole recipe because I think this is just gonna be delicious. Oh, I love Spam. Who out there likes Spam? Come on, don't hold back. Don't leave me alone here, guys. Okay, so what I typically do is I cut it and then I, I cube it. So there we go, cube it, cube it, and then I slice it like this and it's gonna make beautiful cubes. Did you know that Spam is a delicacy, I think, in Hawaii? And I love Hawaii and Hawaiians cannot be wrong, okay? I love Hawaii. Now, if I do have extra Spam, I will put it in my Ziploc bag and save it for later, because I love it. Okay, so, if it called for a third of, oh gosh, guys, I need help on math. If it said a third of a cup, would I do two, I'll just do two thirds, that's what I'll do. Look at me being, trying to think, because I have no idea. I'll make a double recipe. There's one third, and there is two thirds of a cup. Okay, so then, I will say, don't, don't, believe me, I will eat this. I will not waste this because I love Spam too much to waste. But I'm gonna need some more eggs. I'll just set it back here for now. It'll be fine. Don't you fret. Oh gosh, my fridge is so messy, don't look. Don't look guys, my fridge is so messy. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. Oh gosh, I feel like I should check that now. It's sizzling. Should I check this, is that? I don't even know how long I got left on that timer. 
I'm just gonna check this. Oh my gosh, it looks really good. I'm gonna let it go. I prefer chaffles or waffles crispier versus, uh, not crispier. Oh, guess what I did, guys? You know what? Maybe I'll use this one. I put all that Spam in there, but I was supposed to mix the eggs first. So this, you know what? I'm just gonna mix it in there. Who cares? By the way, do you want to see me juggle eggs? No, I can't. I really can't do that. I was just kidding. I can't juggle. That would be a mess, and then my dogs would have eggs, because my dogs are seriously at my feet, which I will show you them in a minute. Oh, I love this. I'm really hoping the Spam one turns out because I love Spam. So then if it called for one of these, I'll put in two of these of the seasoning. One. What I think is gonna be nice is the kick of jalapeno from the Spam. Where did my fork go? Anybody see my fork? Oh, it's back on there? Okay, I'll find another fork. Oh, there it is, I got it. I got it. Hey babies, you hungry? Oh, the top. Hey Siri, turn off the timer. Ah, oh, 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 that's hot. Okay, let me look. Oh wow. This looks amazing, I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna let it go for just a hair longer though, okay? So, everybody at home time me. Let's do another two minutes-ish, or until I can get this one made. So now I'm doing the Spam Chaffle with, I'm gonna double the recipe so it fills the entire thing. Okay, so these are two eggs and some taco seasoning. Now I'm going to add the Spam, which I love. I hope the Spam is not too chunky. And then I'm gonna add the cheese. So I'm doubling the recipe, so instead of just one third, I'm gonna add two thirds. There's one, and I might, I just love cheese so much, I might do a heap and help of that, okay? There we go. So again, this, the challenge of this recipe is to make something that you have with stuff in your cupboards. When I was a kid, I remember my mom, I think we got home from school and we didn't have anything to eat. I mean, that was like a logical meal. So she went to the kitchen cupboard and I think she found a can of pumpkin puree, some like cornmeal. I can't remember what, but she made an amazing meal and it was with the most random things in the cupboards, you know? Because you gotta, you gotta use what you have, and if you ain't got money to get to the store, or if you're in times like these where it's like, you shouldn't go to the store unless you absolutely have to, because we're all in this together, y'all. We are in this together. Okay, that's mixed. Let me look at this. I'm trying to burn myself. That looks good. I'm gonna let it sit in there while I get a plate. Now, for garnish for the chicken quesadilla chaffle, it said salsa, and sour cream. I could not ask for anything more. Let me grab my plate from back here, and I'm gonna grab another fork, and I think I'll grab a spoon for the sour cream. And again, if you're just tuning in, I promise, I'm renovating this entire house come this spring and summer, so this kitchen will look totally different come summer. Okay, let me find, where's the sour cream? Oh goodness, here it is. Oh goodness, you guys, don't judge my kit. Oh, you're judging my kitchen, I can feel it. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick, I love hot, hot sauce, like hot picante sauce. So I got some hot picante sauce, got some sour cream, I got my plate. So while I try this one, I'm gonna put in the Spam ch Chaffle. Okay, this looks actually pretty good. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna take this out. If this comes out, I sprayed this, okay, come on. Please come out, please, oh, please come out. Come on, come on, okay. There we go, it's just really hot too. There we go. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, here we go, <gasps> woohoo! Oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can get it, oh. Mm. Oh, that's so crispy and good. Oh my gosh. The little extra parts on this side that were accident, oh my gosh, they're so good, they're so crispy. Okay, before I show you this one, I'm gonna put in the Spam one. I doubled the recipe. Oh, I didn't spray it! Oh gosh. Oh well, if that one didn't come out, at least one side will. Put the Spam in. I'm worried about this. this I should have cut the Spam a little bit smaller because it's pretty big chunked. But I think it's fun. Okay, put it all in. Spread it out. Okay. 
This one I don't know about. I'm going to be honest. This is my own recipe and I don't know if it's going to work. So let's just see. Okay, here we go. I mean, tell you, being at home in quarantine has never been so fun. I love this. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey, Siri, set the timer for four minutes. Four minutes. Counting down. Okay, let me show you all this. Look at this. Would you look how gorgeous that is? Look at this. It looks perfect. So now, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to add some salsa and sour cream, and I'm going to dig into this chaffle. Now, with salsa, wait, let me shake it up. Shaking it up. Some picante sauce. Putting a little hot right there. Almost like you're using this like syrup where it fills in the squares. Then I'll take my sour cream, stir that up. Oh, what I love about this is I had everything in already in my kitchen. It's keto friendly and it's quarantine cooking, y'all. It's quarantine cooking. There we go. Okay. Actually, I love sour cream. I'm gonna put a little bit more. A little bit more sour cream. Okay. Mm -mm. Now, before I dig in, I do have a clean fork here. I do want to show you this, y'all. Look at this. Now, I grew up in Texas. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Sarah. Now, I grew up in Texas, and we love anything Mexican. Now, Deborah, I do not deliver, but I love you. Uh, this, anything Mexican, I will eat. I love Mexican food. So, anything with taco seasoning and salsa and sour cream. You know, I don't know if I have shredded lettuce in my fridge, but I would also put shredded lettuce on top of this, which would be great. Oh, thank you, Helen. Hey, Helen, I love you so much and I miss you. So good to hear from you, Helen. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Are you guys ready for the verdict? Are you ready? Okay, mind you, I can hear the spam sizzling. I'm gonna get a nice good bite. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I want to be 100% honest. This is really good. It is so good. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit shocked because when you see a waffle, you expect it to be like savory. I mean, a sweet, and this is savory. So it's like, hey, where's the maple syrup? Now, on a side note, you could do this again, leave out the taco seasoning and put the, put the cheese and the chicken, and then put syrup, it would be like chicken and waffles all in one. Oh my gosh, y'all, it just blew my mind right there. I seriously did, listen, seriously. You could do this, put in, leave out the taco seasoning, afterwards put syrup. If you love chicken and waffles like I do, I'm telling you, chicken and waffles is amazing, and this tastes like a chicken quesadilla in waffle form. Oh my gosh, look at this, look. Mm. Wow. Mm. Now, I don't think I would add anything to this. Maybe, maybe, you know what? I would add shredded lettuce and diced tomatoes because I think that would be delicious. But you can really taste uh, that batter egg with the taco seasoning. And I'm telling you, if your guests, well, we can't have guests at our houses right now, so never mind, scratch that. If your family didn't know it was canned chicken, they would never know. It tastes like a rotisserie chicken. I'm telling you, that canned chicken is a game changer. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good, y'all. Mm. We're still waiting on the spam chaffle that's in here. I'm scared to open it because I think the spam may have been in too big of pieces. But we're going to soon find out. Also, with quarantine cooking, some of this stuff you could make and freeze. You know how they have frozen, like, waffles in the frozen section? You could make these ahead of time if you wanted to freeze them and then bring them out for dinner later that week or the next week because it's saving time. You can get the kids involved with this. I'm going to go see if y'all have any viewer questions. Oh, my gosh, the timer just went up. Hi, Pam. Yeah. Hi, Diana. Yep, Loretta. Hi, Branson. This is good. Siri, turn off the timer. Hey Siri, turn off the timer. Okay, let's look. Okay y'all, moment of truth. I'm not even kidding y'all. It's the Spam Jalapeno Spam Chuffle. Let's see, this may look terrible. 
I'm gonna cry because that looks so good. I'm not even kidding you. I'll take it out and show you a picture. I'm gonna let it go in just a little bit longer because to me, I'd rather have it super crispy. So I'm gonna, hi baby Gaga. I'm gonna show you my dogs here in a minute too because they wanna say hi. Okay, here we go. Let me get a plate. This will be for the spam chaffle. Who wants to say hi? Who wants to say hi to the people? Come here. Come here, Miss Bobby Bear. Okay, sorry, they're at my feet and they wanna say hi to you. Here's Miss Gaga Baga. She's my little Bijon, and she is my sweet little baby. She's the one that sleeps right beside me every single night. I love you so much, and I love her so much. Mm, okay, there, you got your minutes. Okay, by the way, that was really good. And uh, Janet, you're right, it's delicious. I I'm telling you, open your mind with this kind of cooking because it's different, and especially if you're on keto, even if you're not on keto, this is delicious. Okay, I'm coming back now. I'm checking the jalapeno. Let me open, oh, this steam though is really hot, y'all, be careful. Oh gosh, let me feel it. Okay, I think it looks about right. Let's see if I can get this out of here, okay. Wow, okay, yummy. Oh gosh, I don't wanna break it though. Do y'all have any tips for getting this out of the waffle iron? Because I don't know, I don't wanna break it. And it's so hot. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go, there we go, okay. It's coming, oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna try to present this one in a more fancy way, because I am wearing my fancy gold shirt for y'all. Okay, look at this, I'm gonna come show y'all. I mean, seriously, I did not think it was gonna turn out this good looking. I don't know how it tastes yet. Look at this, I, I layered them, look. Oh my gosh, oh, somebody says it needs salt. Oh, the chicken Alfredo needed salt and onions. Um, so, here we are. Jalapeno Spam Chaffles. Oh, thanks, Teresa Spatula. Why didn't I think of that? I'm an idiot. That's why. <laughs> I just should've got a spatula. So these are the Spam Chaffles. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other ones. I'm gonna put on some sour cream and some salsa and then taste it. And I don't want any haters out there about Spam, so I love it. I love it, and it's in my cupboard, and that's what you gotta use when it's in the cupboard. Okay, here we go. A little bit of salsa. Ah. Oh. I cannot even tell you. Have you ever eaten food that's so good you literally want to cry? Like seriously, you take a bite of it and you're like, I just made that and I want to cry. How? I mean, come on. That's a sign of really good food. Sour cream right there. Plop it down. Got my fork. Okay, y'all. Moment of truth. The jalapeno spam. I'll get closer to y'all. Just so you can see. My shirt again because I'm so proud. Never worn it before. Don't I have a place to wear it? And now I want you to see the reaction from the Spam. I'm gonna get a chunk of Spam in there. Jalapeno Spam Chaffle. I just created this recipe myself right here. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. I've been, oh my gosh. Guys, I'm not even kidding. Seriously, you can taste the jalapeno, that kick of the jalapeno uh, from the Spam, the little bit of taco seasoning mixed with that, the cheese, the only thing I'd probably do a little bit different is cook it a little bit longer, okay? Wait, what did Richard say? Oh, sorry, the comments are going too soon. I can't read them all. But this that I just created, seriously. Jalapeno Spam Chaffle is delicious. I love it so much. I know, I'll, I'll try not to cry, Teresha. But it, sometimes it's so good and you dip it in that salsa and sour cream. You could also use Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt if you want. Mmm. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so good. Oh my gosh, okay. So today, on Quarantine Cooking, we made the chicken quesadilla chaffle. We created from scratch, because I had jalapeno spam, we created the jalapeno spam uh, chaffle, which was delicious. And before we go, I wanna show you my newest baby, Mr. Bojangles. He's the one that I rescued from uh, rescue one who was in a puppy mill for the first six years of his life. Bobo, do you want to say hi, honey? Do you want to say hi? Hi, baby. Do you want to say hi? Come here, baby. Come here. Say hi to the people, okay? You want to say hi? Look at these people. I'll bring them up here. Not by the food. Say hi, Bobo. Can you say hi? Look at your people. Look at your people. They love you. This is Bobo. Give me kisses. Mwah. Give me kisses. Kisses. Mm -hmm. I love you so much. I love my Bobo. Uh, he's adjusting so well. He gets along with the other dogs. Oh, my gosh. Okay. By the way, if you missed any of this quarantine cooking, 
as soon as I'm done, I'll stop it, and then you can rewatch it for the recipes, and then I'll post the exact recipe in the comment section so you could follow that. Again, stuff from your kitchen. This would happen to be keto friendly for me. And did you notice how quick it was? This is a great quick meal that you can make tonight or make lots of them and then freeze them for meals coming up. So, till next time, and if you guys like this, tell me I'll do more of these videos. It's just me in my kitchen, live, no editing, just me being real with my pets. And seriously, I was so bored being at home again today. I had to do something. So I made up quarantine cooking, all right? So, until next time, my friends. Hey, good looking. What you got cooking? How's about cooking something for the quarantine? Bye, guys. I love you so much. I love you. Bye. Share this. Bye. Call me. Text me.